Hello, Martine. I just watched your video. I know that moment, that moment when it all goes from being a fabulous, eye-opening adventure to, oh my God, I want my own bed. Um, <laughs> it really looks like you've had an absolutely superb holiday. I mean, what an adventure. You have seen such beautiful things. The photographs have been amazing. I could practically smell how fresh the air was there. It's really wonderful. And I think, I know it was cold and everything, but I do think that you've had pretty good weather, right? So um, I looked you up on the map and I've been following your travels and you are very close to the Arctic Circle up there. So I'm sure it's staying light really late. It's very, very interesting for me, extremely. I think you should go fly fishing. I used to go fly fishing. I just don't have the equipment for it anymore. I used to hire a guide and go into the Rockies. Uh, and it was really great fun. I just can't quite conceive of a 30 kilo salmon though. Um, ours used to be about one, one kilo. Actually it was, it wasn't salmon, it was trout, rainbow trout that I used to go fly fishing for. It was really fun. Um, anyway, we're good. You can see I'm out on the porch. There is our new terrace ornament our broken generator which thank god is no longer needed seeing as we have the power on i did so many loads of laundry in, in two days i was just like a chinese laundry constantly practically you know 12 hours a day because we ran it around of towels and clean clothes and you know i had just been ready to do laundry just about before when the power went out which is a mistake i will never make that mistake again Anyway, um, and we have a new generator coming uh, at the end of August, so that's pretty groovy. Um, I've got, I'm out on the terrace, as you can see, and I've got to do something with these guys. These are all the potatoes that I harvested. We've got butter fingerlings and purple ones down there, and these are fingerlings and Yukon gold, which are extremely good. Yukon gold potatoes, I don't know if you can get them. And we've got red shallots and onions and garlic and lots of garlic. I've already got garlic in the basement. Garlic. Oh, oops. Sorry about that. Got the phone. I think we're okay. Anyway, it's hot and dry. And it's been windy, so the soil is really dry. And the garden looks kind of meager. Today I had the most hilarious experience. Oh my god. This was, it was like a cartoon. So we have this like, you know, $60,000 car. And what do we do? We hook up an agricultural trailer. We bought a trailer, which I think you can see up there beside the, we bought it on condition that it would hide behind the shed because I do not want to look at a trailer in our driveway. Anyway, so first time we loaded it up with construction debris and we were going to take it to the local dump and you ha they have to weigh it. It's by weight, right? So, which meant that I had to back it up. So... Uh, we were just chuckling this morning about how we've been in lockdown for seven months and we've been having a ball. We've been laughing. I mean, we're like a couple of crazy teenagers. We really, really, I get along well and we've been having a great time together. And this morning, Mikhail tried to give me hand directions as to how to back the trailer up. And he's very tall, right? So his hands go up. So his hands kept going out of the visual range of the camera and I couldn't see him and he kept changing his mind and we pointing this way and then he'd point that way and then he'd point this way and then he'd say, stop. Up, you know I was like oh my god so we were a little um shall we say uh testy with each other just testy that's all because he always has to be right you know that. and when he's really feeling wrong he says oh you always have to be right to me so anyway we go to the dump having no idea how we're going to back the damn thing up because it was a complete disaster. We went off into the back of the high school parking lot around here and the grounds people for the parking lot were looking and it's like, what the hell are those people doing? Um, it's zigzagging backwards all over the parking lot. So anyway, we got to the dump. There was no way that I was going to back that thing up, not without like knocking down walls and stuff. So I had to back it up a little bit. Well, I wasn't going to weigh it because that required me going into a very narrow slot onto the scale. That that was not going to happen. So they allowed me, one of the guys who's my friend, Mike, said, don't tell anybody. I'll just eyeball it for you. So, but I did have to back it up. And Mikkel was standing behind the car shouting directions at me. And Mike was standing next to me shouting directions at me. And finally, Mike said, just, just listen to me. 
<laughs> because if I'd listened to Mikkel, I would have driven the whole thing off a cliff. Anyway, to the bottom line is we got rid of it and I am never going in reverse with the trailer. And the nice thing is, very nice, look at this, isn't this great? My friend Mike, who helped me at the dump, gave me an entire sack of irises. What do you think? You think it's okay? I think it's okay to plant them now. Now I'll just find a place to plant them. Anyway, so that was my exciting day. And I'm baking bread, and I did a wonderful seminar with the Connecticut Historical Society, and now I'm off to do a drive through at the pharmacy and pick up some prescriptions, and um, I just see these, these, uh, these sunflowers. I did not plant them. They were in the compost that we put here. We, we made our own compost and it didn't really compost very well. So we got a lot of seeds. And so we have a lot of kale and we got a lot of sunflowers. And they're really cool actually, I quite like them. I hope, sometimes when you're intentional about something, it doesn't work, but I would like to save these seeds because they're really beautiful. Look at the color of that, that sunflower. I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's this beautiful sort of red color. And this one is a pink sunflower. They're really nice. Everything's looking a bit, uh, a bit battered for the storm. That's uh, the, you know, the path down to our stream and there's an enormous tree there down with an enormous root ball so we can't get through there. I'll just do something about that. The arborists and the people who chop trees down and take them away make a lot of money after storms around here. We had heavy equipment and three big trucks on our driveway this morning taking down a tree that was leaning like that. Anyway, all right, safe trip. Lovely video. Continue your voyage. Thank you for sending the videos. I absolutely love them. Bye.